what's up it's a very important video today it's a very um special video as you can see right here i am holding some pokemon cards and i am gonna review some pokemon cards now the pokemon cards i am gonna review one of them is can you guys read that phantom his uh one of his moves is astonish choose a random card from your opponent's hand your, your opponent reveals that card and shovels it into his or, or her deck now he also knows Hook, which Hook, it's a sidekick in just two normal energies, and you will um, earn Hook, and you that Hook does 30 damage. Its weakness is Dark types, its resistance is Fighting types, which is a, uh, hold on, which is pretty good for a uh, normal Pokemon card. Next we are going over a uh, holographic hollow of Inky, it's uh, the newest version, and we have um, Ripoff. We have Rip Off, then we have Psybeam. Rip Off does a, uh, as you can see, Rip Off. Choose an opponent's random card for your opponent's hand. Your opponent reveals a card, shove it to his or her deck. It's basically the exact same thing as uh, the other Astonish. And you also got Psybeam, which is 20, 20 damage. And it actually does have a uh, thing right there. And it says, flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Which is a good thing. So next, uh, let me just go find another Pokemon. Next we have Dunsparce. And Dunsparce, Dunsparce really didn't catch my attention that much back in the normal like Pokemon Black and White series. Because Dunsparce, he, uh, he didn't show up that much. He was kind of like hidden. You would have to like look for him in the Pokemon series. So uh, yeah, he knows Rollo, which does 20 damage. And he also knows very discard the top of your card of your opponent's deck as you can see right there you guys can read that pause the video read that next we are on to lombri it's a water type you know and it's evolved form from low toad it has 80 hp it knows jump on which does tw which does um 20 plus damage and it says flip a coin if heads this tech does 20 more damage it also knows Wave Splash, which does 50 damage, as you guys can see there. It's a really common card. It's not um, rare at all. It's not technically rare. And next one we have is Egg. E execute? I don't know. Execute? I don't know. Can you guys read that? But it, what it knows is it knows Lothi, however you pronounce that. It's a flip a coin. If it switch this Pokemon card with one of your best Pokemon, and it also knows Ram, which is 10 damage. You can see the card there. The card itself really isn't that interesting. And moving on to the next card. We're going to be moving on to a more interesting one. Now this one is on Pheasant. Now you guys ready? Just guess the gender of it. If you said male, you are correct. Mine is a male and those quick attack, which does 30 plus damage. Yeah, they can do 60 damage in all. And if heads, you get um, 30 plus damage. And it also knows strong wind, which strong winds shuffle all cards attached to each player's Pokemon into that player's deck. And its weakness is lightning, and its resistance is fighting. So, yes, let's move on to the next Pokemon. And we are going to move to a devolved form of um, a pheasant. Guess it? You got it right if you said Tranquil. Tranquil, he, she was uh, noticed in a, the Pokemon series quite often. And it knows Fly. Its weakness is, uh, it has 80 HP. Its weakness is still Lightning. And its resistance is Fighting. So, yeah, Fly does Flip a coin if tails is attacked does nothing. If heads prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. Now moving on to our next Pokemon. This Pokemon will would actually be one of my best, and it's Golurk. Now Golurk is one of the best Pokemon. It's really it's pretty rare itself and it knows dig out which does 20 damage but double larry now if your pokemon knows this it's going to be pretty good it can do over technically 200 damage technically flip two coins this attack does 90 damage times the amount of heads so if you flip two coins 90 plus 90 is 180 so this can do 270 damage technically which is pretty powerful and strong 
Next Pokemon, this could actually be an EX version. You might find it Victini. Me first does tw does the me first does it just draw a card and side bolt. Flip a coin if heads your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Now we're moving on. I'm skipping on all the energies, and this is a pretty good one. It's the evolved form of Buildum. You can guess it, it's probably Matang. Now Matang is a there I am gonna be showing off one um not plasma energy, it's a rainbow energy. If I can find it, I will. Matang knows metal claw, which does 30 damage and knows bully points. Flip two coins. This attack does 20 more damage for each heads, which can do um, 90, yeah, 90 damage. Oh, and we have the next energy right away, the rainbow energy. And the rainbow energy says, attach rainbow energy. There's an ant on my bed. To, to one of your Pokemon while in play. Rainbow energy provides every type of basic energy, provides only one energy at a time. It never comes as a basic energy card. When you attach this card from your hand, to one of your Pokemon, it does 10 damage to that Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance. That's seriously all it says. And we're moving on. You can read it. Read it right there. Now moving on. And to uh, another shiny or hollow or holographic card. We have Macargo. It's a stage one evolves from Slugma. And then those Flame Burst. <clears throat> My inverse, this one is we almost as strong as Golur, but it has a little bit less health and its damage is a little bit weaker. It knows Flame Burst. This attack does 20 damage to two of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. Flame Thor does 90 damage. It takes two Flame Energies and one normal energy, and you have Flame Thor. This card and energy attaches its Pokemon. And its weakness is water, of course. Its resistance is nothing. Yeah, and to retreat, of course, it's full normal energy. Now the next one I the next and uh, final one I actually want to show is one of my first ones actually. It was uh, a Wiggly Tough. Now Wiggly Tough it knows Bloom Barge, Bloom Barge. It's a Wiggly Tough, and th this attack does 20 damage times the amount of energy attached to this Pokemon. And it also knows Double Edge, which does 90 damage, and this Pokemon does 10 damage to itself, which is uh, pretty good. So that's all the Pokemon cards I'm going to be showing for the day. If you guys did enjoy this Pokemon video, slap the hell out of the like button. That would be really appreciated, and I'll see you dudes next one. Peace.